In what is a great honor and recognition of the prowess of Indian business, Sunil Bharti Mittal, founder and chairman of Bharti Enterprises, has become the first Indian citizen to be conferred an honorary knighthood by Britain's monarch, King Charles III, for services to India-UK business relations. Now, this recognition is one of the highest honors given by a British monarch and underlines the growing might of Indian business and, of course, our corporate leaders. Now, in this mega exclusive, I'm joined straight from London by Mr. Sunil Bharti Mittal to talk about how important this is. Of course, the honor for him, for Indian business and for trade relations between India and the UK. Many, many congratulations, Mr. Mittal. Or should I now refer to you as Sunil Bharti Mittal KBE? Because that's what the honor means. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm truly uh, delighted and, of course, humbled at this great uh, honor bestowed by uh, by the British government, uh, His Majesty the King, our Indian who has been working uh, for the last several years uh, to strengthen the relationship between our two countries. Yeah. Uh, you have been, uh, you know, doing business in the UK for a long time. You're part of the India-UK uh, CEO's forum as well. You have a listed entity there since 2019. And of course, you've helped revive OneWeb in a consortium with the UK government. Now, why UK? And how have they made it easier to do business? What does this mean as significance for the scale and prowess of India's business? Well, you know, UK has always been a natural choice for Indian businesses to set up uh, businesses here. If you may not go back in time, Tata's uh, bought into the, the steel business here. Uh, the tea, uh, you know, Tetley tea was bought over by Tata Tea. And of course, the Jaguar Land Rover, which is much celebrated here in the UK. And then we have had uh, other business houses who have come in here from time to time. Uh, it's a place where many uh, people have their offices. They regularly come here. And so it is only natural that uh, we looked uh, at uh, UK for business opportunities. And I must say that the welcome from the British government, uh, the authorities, has been uh, delightful. Uh, I think it's pretty easy to set up business here in the UK. And uh, talent is available in abundance. And uh, those who regularly come in and out of UK can uh, vouch for it. There's a good place to do business. In particular, I must say, in the last uh, you know five, seven, eight years, India's position in UK has really gone up. Indian businesses are particularly cherished here. They are seen as good uh, corporate citizens, people who are getting uh, you know uh, more and more employment here locally, bringing technology from India. Uh, of course, besides the money that they come and invest here. So I think this is a, an award which recognizes India's rise in the global uh, you know, stakes in the, in the business arena and importantly, recognizes that those who work for India and UK's uh, stepped up relationship need to be awarded. Would this be the right way to also look at it, Mr. Mittal? And, you know, our viewers would be very interested in this angle that when businesses need to be rescued then Indian business leaders step up. And we've seen that time and again with UK businesses. We provide jobs there, we provide employment, and we save some of their businesses, like we saw with OneWeb. It's true. I mean, we saw that in GLR, we saw that in um, you know, the steel, the Tata Chorus, we saw that in the, uh, in the refinery in Stanlow, which Ruiz have set up and taken over. So yes, there are lots of uh, good cases. I think Indians move fast. They, they are entrepreneurial in their very nature, unlike many European or American uh, conglomerates who will take a lot of time. And some of these businesses need very quick and fast decisions. Uh, one web, for example, was uh, requiring a decision within days. Uh, a bid had to be assembled. Somebody had to lead the charge. The British government invited me uh, right in the middle of the pandemic. And the bid was made during that time and successfully the company was taken out of chapter 11. A full satellite constellation of 640 satellites has been set up uh, with a lot of investment and efforts right here from the UK, covering the entire globe. Uh, this is, to my mind, one of the uh, sterling examples of India-UK cooperation. 
Yeah. Uh, we have a wide audience this evening, uh, Mr. Mittal, watching you across our channels on the network, which is why I'm going to request you to explain to us the significance of a OneWeb, uh, especially in the context of a Starlink, which is the big behemoth. Why is this such a big deal and at the cutting edge of communications and space technology today? Well, as you know, space is now uh, getting a lot of focus and attention from uh, all major global players. Thankfully, India is one of the major space actors uh, in the world. Uh, in fact, when I was invited uh, to the Downing Street to take one web out of Chapter 11, uh, the then Prime Minister Boris Johnson uh, made a remark that India is truly a first-rate uh, space nation. And, um, you know, we do our own launches, India manufactures its own satellites, we are now planning to send astronauts to the moon. I mean, so much is happening. We, I, I heard uh, our Honorable Prime Minister talk about India having its own space station by 2032. And uh, what we did with the lunar landing uh, just a few months back was a historic uh, achievement and the lowest cost by any nation in the world. So India has something very special. And I think uh, one that from that point of view is an India-led British partnered consortium which, by the way, also has now the French government as a participant. It covers the entire globe. My industry, mobile industry, has not been able to cover the last two, two and a half billion people on the internet. There are lots of dark areas, deserts, mountains, forests, oceans, in the skies, and lots of places where you don't get connectivity. And what a Leo constellation does is precisely that. You can raise your hand anywhere in the world and you can be connected. It is the power of a Leo constellation. Starlink is a formidable uh, competitor. In fact, they have a lead. They are ahead in the race. They have put in many more satellites and uh, they have uh, a large market presence already. Our model is very different from theirs. We are serving the governments, the defense forces, the industrial applications for mining um, and uh, warehouses and uh, manufacturing units in remote areas. Uh, we uh, serve the maritime industry, the aviation industry, oil rigs, etc. So we will have our own business model where we will go and provide broadband connectivity, something that I have worked on for, now, I think, now over two and a half decades. Yes. Telecom, as you know, has been uh, my area of interest, and this just expands the uh, area of uh, broadband connectivity, especially of those people who have been left behind of not getting internet.